There are a couple ways to handle this kind of question, but regardless, we're gonna to need to know two things. Number one, we have to understand that they're talking about x-intercepts here, that we're using factors, which is kind of the equation we were given as a factored form of a polynomial, and that relates to the x-intercepts, but also that we, all, we have this weird function notation here, but remember, function notation is just a bunch of points. So we can plug points into equations here, uh, and it basically just decide for yourself which order you wanna do those two things in. For me, I'm gonna just plug points into equations first. I find it just a little easier to think about. So all that means is that this is my x and this is my y. So what I really have is zero is equal to, well, let's make sure we have some parentheses, so seven minus w times seven minus w, minus two, right? So it doesn't, doesn't bother me that I'm substituting like a, an expression in for x instead of a number. It's, it's the same thing, right? It's an x value and a y value. Plug points into equations, don't let it bother you. So we'll deal with this um, messiness in a second. And then seven minus w plus six squared. So I'm not gonna start foiling things out. I'm just gonna start to clean up each of these individual factors because I want to keep them as factors. So seven minus two is five, and seven plus six is 13. Now, I'm basically done. Because at this point, remember, if these things are equal to zero, the whole point of factoring, the entire reason we factor, is to find what happens when y is equal to zero without having to go through a whole graphing situation, right? This is giving us the x-intercepts, which is the points on the x-axis where y is equal to zero. And by putting them in these factors, we get to treat this thing as separate equations. So in reality, I'm kind of seeing three separate equations here. I'm seeing seven minus w equals zero, I'm seeing five minus w equals zero, and 13 minus w squared equals zero. But the squared isn't gonna matter because I'm in factored form. So you're never gonna foil this out here. This is not part of the thing. We're just gonna say, okay, what value of w would give me a zero if I plugged it in for the first part, right? So you can either do the algebra and move it around, or you can just kind of realize that seven minus seven is equal to zero. Five minus five is equal to zero. And 13 minus 13 is equal to zero. Okay, so now we have all the possible solutions here. What is the sum of them all? That means add them up. So seven plus five is 12, plus 13 is 25, done. Notice, no Desmos here. We could do it, but it's not gonna tell you anything that's particularly groundbreaking. It's not, it's not gonna really help too much. Maybe there's a way to do this where you, you plug the seven minus W in and you just literally do G of seven minus W and then I don't know what you'd even do. You could play with a slider. I don't know. I, if you figure out some way to use Desmos here that's really nice and simple, go for it. But I don't see anything here. To me, as soon as I saw that they wanted this equal to zero, I knew I'm, I'm already done, basically. I just need to kind of rearrange some things and it's gonna work itself out because zero is the magic number when we have factors. And that's what this equation gave me. I don't care that it's like an X to the fourth. I don't care that I don't know a lot about weird polynomials. I just know that about factors and X-intercepts and both of those things are coming up in the question. So I know it's just about connecting those dots, putting those ideas together. So you can't be intimidated by stuff like this if you know the vocabulary associated in with the XY plane and algebra, then something like this is really, really easy.